Hello and welcome to this video of Web3 PY Python do-it-yourself tutorial. In the last few videos, we have been working with Web3 Python library in order to get balance, send an Ether transaction, deploy a contract, or writing to a contract. Today, in this video, we're going to be talking about listening to contract events. How do you create filter and how do you listen to events from a contract? Let me tell you a use case, why would you use this? So go to gorli.etherscan.io and look for any token. For instance, I have picked a token, Flux token. This is the token that was created and these, this is the contract for that token. I click on the contract and this contract ending in 5C31 has events. What I wanted to do is track a token and be able to capture events as it happens. This helps in understanding what's going on with the token, how many people are actively working on that token, and that can also result into some analytics around that token. So there could be multiple use cases, but this is one of the use cases to be on top of a token with events. All right, so with that said, I'm going to write a Web3 Python, very simple program to be able to track events. I don't wanna get all the transactions here, but let me get like, let's say first 10 transactions. Let's pick a number. Uh, let's pick 7231635 as a block. So anything, all the transactions after this block number, let's say around 10 of these, I wanna list it in the, in the code. So again, to do this, please make a note of this contract and just take copy. Let's write the code here. So the first one is include contents. I just wanted to make sure that you understand. I use this to get inferior URL, private key, and other variables, but I don't need all of them. All I need is infura, but just to be sure and to understand for, for you to understand how this is working, this is coming from the previous set of videos where we did all of these. I'm gonna continue holding the same and I'm gonna run this and you will see that in Fura URL, contract data and ABIs are populated. Please note that this contract data and contract ABI is not for Flux token. This was for the contract that we published as part of other videos. So all I need is the Infura URL from this. Let's write down the code. So from Web3, import Web3. Please make sure that you have installed the Web3 package and import JSON. So Web3.http provider, Infura URL. I'm using Infura URL over here. And I have co copied and pasted the Flux token over here, ending in 5C31. This is the contract address for Flux token. Next, I'm gonna create a filter, filter web3.eth.filter, and from block to block. So I'm using this from block 7231635 onwards, the 10, and two block is the latest. So I want to get all the latest you can also use earliest. That means it's gonna give you all the blocks, all the events for this contract dumped. And, whoops, I'm gonna say address, contract address, which is here. And I'm going to close this braces. So what this does is it creates a filter to filter out the, the from, block, two block, and address, and it's gonna give us only 10 contracts starting from this to the latest block. And I'm gonna say filter dot get all entries. So you would see when I run this, it dumps all of the contracts or all of the events on these contracts. So if you look at it, block is 721365, which is the starting, and let's go to the end of this dump. And you would see the last block number 7303968. 7303968 is 
um, there has to be one more event, but uh, let's say 7303, 73847. So you would see that 43, there is a lot of other events that have happened. So let's say 3843, you have 843 over here. So there are two more events that happen, but it's not refreshed yet on the etherscan.io. So we got all the events starting from 7231635 up until here. This is a pretty solid use case in order to understand all the events that have happened on this contract. Very, very simple uh, function. Again, this is available on GitHub link uh, in the video description section below. Thank you for watching.